What is Mahara is probably the most complex <laughs> question up front. <laughs> it's an online system or space um, that can be used individually or very much as a collective social space. So, for example, you might decide that you want to uh, gather documents in the space, keep a journal, um, contemplate uh, key ideas in a theoretical subject, draw together examples, all manner of things through to constructing web pages or collections of pages. So it is potentially able to be used in as many ways as we have users. So typically Mahara is known as a portfolio system and it's important that we consider that word because of the architecture of the system. So essentially it has been designed around the capacity to uh, gather and create artefacts and I think the word artefacts is in itself an unusual one um, through from text boxes, files, um, uploading media elements etc. So there's a gathering notion or filling in your resume. There's a organize, reflect and present notion. So all of a sudden you want to share this with an audience. And then the third component of Mahara is what makes it quite unique as a current portfolio system because it's very much around groups and sharing and collaborative construction of ideas. So that underpins um, the structure of Mahara and that language comes through in the software itself. Um, I think some of the um, cases of how Mahara has been used, um, students working collaboratively on an assignment in a class, um, research, international research groups sharing a workspace. Another might be an individual use developing your resume for future employers uh, or for people into the creative um, industries, rather than dragging around huge <laughs> volumes of material, to actually photograph and um, curate your own collection online to give people sneak previews of the scope of the work would be for sort of quite distinctly different examples of use. Um, central to Mahara is the notion of privacy. You as the user um, make all the decisions about who gets to see what you build. And it's very much about you providing different levels of access so that people can view your material, not only view it, but offer comment and review. And I think that's one of the outstanding features that means that over time you are actually documenting the opportunity to share your work with colleagues and to show that you have taken ideas out beyond your own construction. Um, what happens over time you can download your content from Mahara and it allows you to download that in a number of formats. Um, probably the most commonly used would be a self-contained website and it's up to you whether you choose to download your content, parts of your content, or all of your content plus your reviewer comments.